Hey guys, I said I was going to be back, and I'm here. And, yeah, let me know if anything's going on. <laughs> like issues. <clears throat> anyway, so, what I got going on here is, uh, well, a few things at the same time. I need to get fuel out to my moon station. Uh, and upgrades. More upgrades. Uh... Also, expand my station around Minmus uh, as well. Um, but expand and get some more fuel. Uh, yeah, expand the station down here. <clears throat> I have an orbit. Um, I have 28 gerbils, so I need uh, 32. So just a few more. Uh, only four, so it's no worries. But the fuel thing. Now having a buttload more fuel on there, which is great. Um great idea but getting it there is another story and I have had a, a little issue with one that I, I it's around the moon it was supposed to be a refueler but it's empty by the time it got there so what I ended up doing was building another one of these refueler things sending it out and I, it's just orbiting around Kerbin plan is I'm gonna send another one out because it's orbiting around Kerbin and it's got some extra fuel in it and whatnot but, um, uh, is this, it's an auto-save, I have it saved, but we need more cowbell is what we need, <clears throat> just a bit more to get it up and out there with a, with a bunch of fuel, uh, I got, actually, I want to change a couple real quick things with this design, though, uh, I believe it'll really help all, because this has the antenna, however, I can throw it down farther. Um, well, and other parachutes, which I made this a lander. Believe it or not, I've actually landed it on Kerbin a couple times uh, after all these are off and whatnot. Did some t testings, even with practically full fuel, so should be able to land at most places. However... Uh, that's not good. Yeah, I was thinking that this didn't have a thing on it, so. A coupler. It has a coupler on the front, but not on the back. And really, I mean, if I'm going to couple it onto something... We'll couple it on to the back as well. That way I can shoot it out. So that's extra fuel that I took up. And that's sitting up there, which is cool. And all that. And I could send a refueler up and grab that as well and take it off to the moon. <clears throat> um, and with some more cowbell... It'll get up there and use a buttload less fuel. Anyway, yes, that's that's the plan, Stan. We're gonna make it happen, Cap. Disable crossfeed because nothing sucks more than when you get there and you're like, oh my god, I used a buttload of that fuel. That's groovy. Hmm, I thought about coupling some other fuel powered rockets there, just regular, um, instead of more solid fuel boosters. Which could help, although I might burn my whole landing. Uh, segment up. That's a possibility. Haven't tried it yet, so we should give it a go.
smaller, racier type fuel tanks. Run into my lights a little bit and way off kilter. But could also unport, so hey, give it a go. And I tend to just build like one side at a time. And then, you know, times it by all four as well. Find things work a little easier that way. Hmm. Should be quite groovy. <clears throat> oh wait, wait, wait. That's huge though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. And that's just liquid fuel. It's, that's not gonna fly. Okay. I thought maybe I can, instead of just you know throwing some money out on those, I should get the cool ones. I'll get the cool ones since I put those on. Is it gonna take both of them? It might end up taking both of those fuckers, huh? Son of a bitch, it did. Mm-hmm. So, just kick them off, detach them as well. That's... Yeah. More cowbell, but let's not... Uh... They're doubly attached. So screw it. We'll just get new ones. Well, where did they go? What? Well, that's not cool. Couplings got lost inside that. There. Hold on. Let's back the truck up. Try that again. Unless any of you guys know what the... <clears throat> the undo button is. <laughs> What's an undo? We asked for more cowbell, we got some more cowbell.
we're not gonna make that uh, move or controllable by itself. All right, so let's go through really quick. Pink, pink, pink. those that's where those come in okay that's where those are um where do i want to stage those bastards at because generally i get pretty good speed but with that much extra weight probably not going to take off all that great start off with those two. Alright. Alrighty, Whitey. That's where those are... Looks good. Looks very good. I'll go with that. We'll shoot that sucker off. It's time to let her rip. See if my little arms hold it. Oh, didn't strut that back. That oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Jason, you didn't strut it, man. Maybe it's price fine. Okay. Boy, actually, when I look at that, uh, you know, that's really close to that landing gear. <laughs> really. We could move it up. Well, we can't move it up too much. But let's see if we can move it up a wee bit. Right over the line. It'll be fine. See if that'll have a. And then that throw those off, or are they still in conjunction with everything else? Hoping by this much cowbell, I should be able to kick down the engines while I get out into orbit without much of an issue. We'll see how that works. See how it works out. Hey, that was auto strutted before. Oh, because I took that off, maybe they didn't like the. Yeah, it was auto strutted before. Not so much now. Yeah, so instead of that little bastard breaking off as soon as we take off, or it just is. Let's see. We have pretty damn good fast lift off, I would have to say. That's quality. Burning fuel like it's going out of style. There's only a lot of rockets are going off. Little ones. Ready to pop. Let's start my turn. 1500. See how that works.
So far, so good. Sit here for a while. Oh, I could have, I could have dropped those. The thrust at their full, full out, but whatever. Thirty-two in cruising. Things are looking pretty. More cowbell. That's all we needed. About ready to get rid of some cowbell. Didn't blow those landing stripes up, so that's cool. Probably should add little rockets on that, though. Looks oh, cool, enough. I don't really need that node. I just wanted to see how much of an angle I could get because I do want to grab that more more fuel, more, just more, over at that station there before I take off to the moon. I'll leave it nearly empty and we'll try to re land that and see. Well, F5 first, so. Jay, you have mellowed, my god. Dar, hey, yeah, what's happening, man? Sorry. It's late, um, so instead of racing, playing some Kerbal. Which is actually kind of, kind of got a little addicting, I have to say. It's cool stuff that you can, you know, you build your own shit and fly it. Wreck it, build it again, rebuild it until it works right. I'll be racing tomorrow though. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm kind of actually deep in thought about what kind of a design I do to change. I, no more cowbell. How much more cowbell? Should I? Is this cheetah is yes well it I would like to have it a cheetah but it's just leopard print my god I'm not a fa as fast as a cheetah cheetahs for aliens <laughs> um is that where my yeah
594,000. Holy crap, I wasn't really paying attention to that back when. Son of a bitch. How much fuel do I have? It's like just about the same amount as the other one. Except I got more. A little bit more. Oh, you watched it before, Dar? Oh, right on. Nice. Why was I... I was... I. Yeah, I was deep in thought. Sorry about that. <laughs> Trying to figure out which way would be the best way to take fuel to the mun and not be, you know, be cheap. The initial idea was, you know, hey, what better way than to build another little refueler station around here because it takes a ton to get out of Kerbin, but not all that much really to get to the Mun, or Minmus for that matter, um, once you get in orbit. And it, like it, it becomes really, really costly when you screw up like this. And I blew it. Because if anything, I need to be inside this. Well, it's just at 70 grand, so 7103, but. Mm hmm. So, do a docking here before I take off. I have like 14 or, well, like 1700 more uh, DB, I suppose, or I don't know. Fuel, I guess, would be DB, right? All that Delta V sitting right there, waiting to go to the moon, but I don't really have enough power to get it to the moon without having to tap into it. And then you tap into it, and then when you get there, you don't hardly have anything. And it's like, God, this was like a wasted trip for a huge... Uh, ...base. This is actually... The reason why I built it so large initially, too, was... Uh, I wanted to connect this to my space station and that way I have tons of fuel to that could remain there by smaller ships that are getting there that are just dumping off fuel which really yeah, honestly I have a crap ton of um, space to put fuel there anyhow oh, wrong button. Sixty-eight. I really can't go any any lower. So, just gotta wait around to connect to these guys. Let's zoom up here. Get a better. Node on here. Get a little bit more parallel. Oh, that should be zero. Yep, okay. I need a little bit more time because this big, I've had so much, so freaking much um, weight with this i have uh, so many reaction wheels but it seems awfully slow still doesn't really want to get me where i need to go very quickly i need bigger reaction wheels bigger better better more cowbell bring on the cowbell Get ready to add power. Although well, it's only a two second burn, so.
Oh, oh, whoa. Didn't really mean to hit that. Come on, don't you want to click over to zero? Shoulda, coulda, woulda wanted to click over at least. I guess I could have used the RCS to move me around a bit better, but again, I don't really want to waste RCS either. Am I going up? Am I going down? Wrong way. That's... That's groovy. Let's just hit the skids, man. Back the truck up. Well, those skids don't really work that well. great. It's a lot of weight to move around. It takes a long time. I'm past the node, so it's really not doing me a damn bit of good now. Anyway, anyway, close, close enough. I just got to catch up. Or bring that out to me. Hmm. Where... Oh, my intersections, how oh. they're getting lower. Come on, move it, you slow bastard, you heavy some bitch. Hopefully I'm going the right direction, probably not, no, that's not where it's way I wanted to go. Well, I'm starting that way, keep going. Let's work it. I turn the yaw pitch and roll off on... RCS, which way is helping me? Actually, the bottom, it's really not helping me. That's not helping me for early for sure. Bottom swinging the same way. Swinging the same way. It's like I'm right there with him still. Just slightly faster. Not fast enough. God, negative 0.6. I totally screwed myself on that. Flying around, trying to readjust and... Uh, Anyway, I'll have to fix that again. Bum rat, man. Where's... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Shit. Romeo. I tried to touch his head. Wrong. Knock it off. Get over here. Yo, bud. I see two landing legs on those outer boosters. Are you going to attempt to land that whole thing back on Kerbin? Already have. actually tested it out last night. Um, so, yeah, at least I can save some money. I figured I to... And I tested it out practically full. Uh, it was... Well, might have been half. But still, half a, of that huge monstrous beast. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. I was amazed that it actually landed and stayed, you know, still after. I blew, you know, I have uh, these <clears throat> little lander legs, these little extensions. When I pop those out, those blow up, of course, because they're just, uh, I know, right? Sorry, Dar. I scared this crap out of me as well. Douche. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, those, I pop those out, that way it just absorbs some impact, you know, I have them maxed out on the spring and stuff, because I come in a little fast, I, as long as I have fuel to control how fast they come in, because even with the shoots, uh, with how many I have on there, it's, it doesn't slow it down, well, with half a load of fuel, it didn't really slow it down too much without having to really break, so... I'd like to see what it would do practically empty after re-entry burn to where I could don't blow everything up on the re-entry. Which is always a good thing, right? But basically, it should work beautiful for like Bidmus or whatnot where I can bring take this whole monster down there and refuel it and then when I do land other ships on there, I could either... Well, I could use the smaller ships to refuel this thing. Um, and, and so that way, initially, I have a shit ton of tanks, so I can just keep those full while I'm running little trips over to Mun. I'll always make sure to take some extra, so I'd keep dumping it in there. And then when I need it uh, for running around town wherever or taking going way out of there, I'll have plenty of it to uh, refuel and, and stock up. That was the idea. I'll, the Minmus doesn't have a lot of uh, fuel room. Uh, however, the Mun Space Station, it does already have quite a bit, which a lot of it's empty. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm trying to take these two back to refuel letter three, monopropellant, that fuel, and that, that'll all uncouple. Um, and I was trying to get as much fuel as I can saved in these guys so I can hook up. And I have a quick question, who ever plays this? I thought of using these little structural girders, right? And connecting a, a port on each one, a docking port, to make a, uh, like where I could connect it, take a rover or whatnot, put another port on there, however I'd connect it to the rover, um, run it over and connect it to, you know, make like a bunch of little extensions that I can take up with me on, on a bunch of supply pieces so I can land this next to my station and connect it through those girders. And from what I found out, well, running these, like these little gir uh, structural guy things, it'll suck fuel from everything, right? And it just, it pulls fuel from everything, um, which I wasn't expecting that initially. I was hoping actually it wouldn't. Uh, but it does. So that's why I was like, wait. Oh shit, I'm re-entering? That wasn't supposed to happen. Bad news bears, Jay. Ah, shitey. Shitey. That's, that's no bueno. We could try to get out of it. Um, but not probably going to get out of it. <laughs> not going to get out of it. Oh, definitely not going to get out of it now. Well, how about that re-entry? Let's see how this works before we revert this uh, flight. Okay, 
I'm trying to flip it around to where the engines get the, the heat since they're kind of used to it. Oh, I'm not fully re-entering. Okay, I saved myself barely. Use the last of the fuel in that. Hmm. Well, well now. I got those little guys. Model propellant poppers. Which will, which will do is, except fucking around like I did, I shot that way over there. Yeah, about that. Okay, we're probably, yeah, let's, let's just revert this flight. I need to change a little something, something out of this anyway. To your question, you have no idea. Well, hey, thanks for at least answering, uh, you know, and listening. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, pop those off. Shoot those out. And we'll add another. What was the question? Um, I'm trying to think of it now. Oh, like the best way to refuel. I, I want to... I want to take a bunch of fuel up to the mun. This is what I built so far. This is my refueler. You know, this will detach, right? I really don't need this much monopropellant. I really don't. Um, but let's knock that down. To the, it, it's nice to have the monopropellant there if you need it. And I can always fill this actually back up from the other um, thing. Um, but uh, Oh, to connect to a station. Right, right. Um, using these girders. Because see, okay, this is the reason why I thought of this first. I'll let you know why. By connecting this solid like this, the fuel will run through all, you know, back and forth through all these. It'll, uh, what was I on to show the... The fuel. Uh, well, I never mind. Okay. Anyway, so it chews through it. So what I was thinking, uh, I make. I see. I made this a lander, so I can land on the moon next to my station, hopefully, and use these little girders with a port on each side. Connect the port to one of these bottom ports down here run a bunch of these little uh, structural girders, you know, across, connect the port to the other side, and connect it to my station uh, via, of course, a, another port, and, you know, be able to transfer the fuel, you know, to to my station. Will that, will that work? That was my question. And because I was thinking of making another run with, I need to build a rover. I haven't built a rover yet. I built a couple rovers. They just don't work very well. <laughs> they 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 kind of suck. So, once I build a decent rover that I can use to manipulate these the extensions, so I can just plug them into each port, extend them out as far as I need, run it over. And just use those girders instead of trying to move this or my entire space station close to the the, the fuel the refueler. That was that was where I was kind of going with that, and I wasn't sure if that would um, would work or not. Would it transfer? That was my main question. I could test it out here, but I thought, hey, maybe, you know, one of you guys that play this a lot would know. 
Check the part description for girders to see if it mentions anything about. Um, what do you, What other than that? It doesn't really tell me one way or another. Because where do I get the part description? I thought this was a description. Do I have more? Am I missing? Is there more descriptions? In through here or whatnot? Cross section profile, filter mode. Make sure several assemblies. I was, yeah, I, was, I can't remember where in the hell I was messing with it and I saw the whole uh, fuel, how it was all running about. <laughs> I could just test this theory on a. on something. Okay, we're gonna try to that. I'm gonna kick on these bottom four engines a bit later after I kick all these off. These little guys are gonna go off to help me catch orbit. I think, be, I think it should work. We'll see. But it won't let you disable the crossfeed if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, if that's what you're talking about. I tried to do that inside the part there to disable it, and it it won't it won't let you. Uh, it just auto strut heavy part doesn't let you disable crossfeed. So yeah, that's a definite no. However. The way I have this set up, since I put it on that strut, suddenly all these are just intermixed. They they flow everything. So yeah, um, that's why that's what brought me to that. It was like, wait a second, if that flows, instead of having to worry about you know making sure everything's connected or whatnot, I could just get extensions that might actually be more feasible. Yeah, that's what you're thinking, right? That's that I thought too, and I was like, well, maybe I could disable it because I kind of wanted it disabled, um, and it wouldn't allow it. So, yeah, I or it didn't give me any option. So I was like, gosh, we'll have to see. I'll I'll build one real quick, add another a fuel tank, empty that fuel tank out, and then put it on a lander and see if I could. Uh, transfer the fuel from that to that that'll tell me right here in Kerbinville ready to poop out all right I now I'm still carrying a bunch of fuel now since it's on a decoupler since it's on a decoupler they of course don't crossfeed and can you enable crossfeed that's the eliminator. You can enable crossfeed on a decoupler or not. Weird. And you, of course you could do it on the ports. You can enable or disable crossfeed on the ports. That's interesting. I wasn't watching my surface speed while I was doing this. Obviously it slowed down quite a bit as I'm carrying a buttload more fuel times four plus rockets <coughs> it's okay we should be good it's a lot of burning and I've only got a 30,000 feet though Still got about a half a tank. Well, if all else, if worst case scenario, um, 
I could put a fuel tube in from one coupling to another inside that structure girder. So that fixes that, just adds another part. If it doesn't work, then I could do that. Because it should connect, well, if it'll let me connect them, I don't see why it wouldn't let me connect it from the uh, docking port juniors. Because, I mean, that way you can keep your fuel tank that could blow up and blow your entire space station away from you. So, it, which right now they don't have it, but, you know, if they had like, all of a sudden you got mega winds or whatever going on. I got one hell of a snoring dog, don't I? Holy shnikes. Shit, this time at least I'm like really quite parallel with that little space station, dude. Too bad when I click on it, it doesn't tell me exactly what my height, the height is right there. That would be nice to know. Obviously, I believe I'm a little under. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What just broke? Oh, what? We had a catastrophe going on there. Some craziness happened. I have no control over this now. She's dead, Jim. She's dead. Hmm. So the center blew off into nothingness. Something got... Ah, the Kraken. The Kraken struck. I didn't... Um, structurally mount a thingamabobber somewhere? Let's, let's double check that. Didn't really like something or another? Auto strut? We'll put an auto strut on that bitch too. Yeah. Um... I, I was sure I auto strutted all that, but what about these? Auto strut? Auto strut? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, auto strut disabled. We needed an auto strut there. Oh, disabled there too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I do. It's always nice to have monopropellant. I can rob it from the one I'm gonna land. Besides, so let's let's drop that. Take some more weight out of this. I don't need these full initially. I'll leave that one full. Fuck it. That'll be fine because I that's my decoupler one. Oh, auto strut disabled. That's that's where things went wrong, folks. That's where things went wrong. Oh, and there, that's the root part. I don't hardly ever auto strut the engines. If they can't hang around, I don't need them. <laughs> Let's auto strut them this time. Okay, very good. Let's try this again. Should we add more cowbell? Mm, it was getting where it needed to go, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yes, yes, indeed it was. Oh, you know what? Since we're back here, let's let's do that quick test. Except I think the downside to that test, damn it. Yeah, that's that's not gonna connect. Fuck. Ooh, 
we'll add another port. I was gonna, I was like, oh, I'll just throw or move this port. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn it, I don't want to move it because I liked it where it's at. Oh, that's, that's, it's a junior. We shall see. Oh, it just works. Whoa, it disappeared instead. Went inside. Damn you. Oh, now. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, it's bloody hell. Is there an undo for this? You know, where you can undo something and you screw something up like like this? And can't, isn't there just like a... I was hoping it was Control or Alt-Z. Um, I don't know. I haven't found it yet. Cannot tell you. I have no idea. That's not going where I want it to. Right. You thought it was Control Z? Oh, very good. Well, I'll make these with ports, but for this kind of a application or idea, really all I need to do is make, oh, damn it. Huh, huh. That's, that's odd. All right, all right. More st well, I'm, I can't use that strut now or that piece. Can't just copy it. Radial attack. No, we we just want a standard port type can coupler. You know. Yeah, like fit like that. Everything be cool, you know. It'd be neat. Oh, and it leaves that bastard right there. Oh, man. I can't just grab the whole little piece. It won't let me. I, I could make those and then add them to it, I suppose. Anyway, fuel tank. Just for shits and giggles, just to see if this, in fact, will allow me to transfer.
then I could make little extensions and everything would be cool. Everybody can make extensions. I haven't seen them by anybody uh, by watching anyone. It'll let me transfer. So, you're freaking rock on. Bada bing. Alright, cool. So, I could build girders. I can make them angled. I could do whatever I need to do to connect certain things and transfer fuel from one place to another. Well, alright. That's good to know. Hey, what? It's too late. You can't go. No. It's not gonna let me grab it. So now I got an effing port sitting in there. Well, let me grab it after I put it. If the girder's on the inside, maybe. Maybe I can snag that whole little unit. You thought it was control Z? No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Not control Z. <clears throat> Don't save. Crikey. Oh. Did the auto save one? Open it again. Alright. Double check the stages and then let's take off. Hope oh did it did it remember these? Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, awesome. Uh, run those. Bump those off. Shoot those off. Pop on those. Kick those off. Got the monos for last ditch effort to try to get the hell out of there. Really need more reaction wheels. I have a lot of them on there already, but let's put some more. Uh-oh. More. More. We need more. See how this puppy takes off, am I right? Three, two, one. Holy crap, it's been an hour already. Really haven't got a lot of stuff done on here. Just been rethinking things. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, what? Oh, the Kraken strikes. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, who's who's blowing what? Oh shit. Bloody hell.
Oh, the humanity, if anybody was still there, they're going off into space. Luckily, it's unmanned. There's a big-ass fuel tank cruising along right there. Crikey. I got parts and debris everywhere. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, revert flight. That's That was that was pretty heinous. <clears throat> I, I don't recall. I don't know what happened, but let's double check some stuff. <laughs> Ru bad. Or let's just let's just fly it again, see what happens. Did did that pop? I don't think that popped actually, did it? get a proper docking mechanism in there. I did kind of forget that. <clears throat> I had that just sitting there. Well, at one time it was on, right? But I don't know what happened. I don't think that's going to do it. If it yeah, <laughs> broke a leg, I broke all of, I broke a lot. Broken body sitting down and fell off a cliff. And we're off. Slow and easy. Actually, I got pretty high Z force on this. I'm, I'm shooting off pretty quick. Almost too quick. I can cut that down, burn it for a little longer. Get a higher quality burn out of this. Oh, oh! Dude. Hmm. Well, I didn't fall away to a million pieces this time. I could almost make it. Well, I have no control. Zero control, but it looks cool. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> so it's the boosters that are popping off, getting crazy. Something's not liking something somewhere. Uh, maybe because I didn't dis enable that. Let's check all these little guys. Pippi's part. Quality. Uh, you know, sometimes you... You just want to... Well, maybe that's all it was. Because <clears throat> this thing was flying fine and then suddenly not so good no more. No mas. Alright, Dar. Hey, thanks, buddy. This was supposed to be just an easy, quick flight. I've already had multiple of these up in the air. So, I don't know what I did. Something somewhere that really screws some shit up. Let's see if I fixed it. watch what happens let's let's tone this down a little bit and don't don't speed up so fast maybe that might help I doubt it but structural integrity is suffering somewhere see that shaking uh oh that it oh Oh, no, there goes my command center. Um, it's one. One of them's shaking. One of them's just going crazy and uh, breaking. It's like... Huh. All right. Gonna shake? Uh, okay. Okay. 
Now that automatically did it to all of them. Should have. Let's add some more struts, shall we? Give you a go. Did you just need a little extra, you know, exterior little struts, I guess, since the rest of it didn't like it? Oh, yeah, I guess that's where things went bad is because now I'm trying to haul those instead of use them initially. Turn started, fellas. Getting ready. So far, no shake and bake, so that's cool. Avoided the crack in this time. So I'm down. Full power, too, so. Wasn't for the lack of trying. Damn, I wasn't looking how high I was. Should be down here a little ways. Whoa, whoa, not so much. This thing goes up kind of slow, so. Okay. <clears throat> Jeez. Should we fire up those other ones? Mm, I was thinking of firing it up after I got into orbit. Because it, is, but it is a lot of extra weight to carry around with. It's not doing a bunch of nothing that could be doing something.
That looks fairly close. Seriously, I'm that low on fuel already. I do have a bit extra. And how much total oh, fuel do I have? 15,000. Because I do have those. Jesus, man. Is it worth... Yeah, well, it... How else do you get fuel out to your other your other places? You know, you gotta build one big ass rocket that can hold a shit ton of fuel and take it out here into space. Ready, fire, Captain. Which way will torque me? Does that torque me the wrong way? Yes, it torques me the wrong way, damn it. Torque me back the other way. Wait for it. Wait for it. One more reaction, uh, reaction wheel didn't really help matters a whole lot in the situation of controlling this thing when it's not under power. And <laughs> wrong. Shut up. Romeo. Romeo! No! Quit. Leave Muffers alone. Get over here. Rome. Come here. Rome! Come on. Bad boy. Quit being a douche. You have to be such a douche. You just have to be a douche, don't you? All right, oh, Jesus, man, all we gotta do is meet up with him around Kerbin. It's like, how hard is that? Second 402, which I'm... losing? Because I am running outside of him just a bit, the whole way, huh? Okay, that throws me at zero.
a mere three second burn ish. Come on, come on, little reaction wheels are good. Let's go. Four, three, two, and hit it. Okay. All right. There, there. That's there. These guys. What's going on over here? Don't really need to look at this node so much anymore. So I need to play some catch up here. Eighty two and eighty four thousand. Really? And you guys, oh, this thing is just sitting. Oh, that's why I'm losing speed. So this is actually quite a good time to try to move. Come on. Okay, next idea might be a much smaller rocket to get, you know, or a big rocket like this gets me up there. I could land it and disconnect a smaller, you know, multitude of rockets. And come on down. I was trying to go like, not here, <laughs> somewhere up down retrograde would be good <clears throat> oh and of course I have to well Oh, that is retrograde. We're good, we're good. No, that... It's just because it's on a white line. It made it look like it was. So we're not good. 377 for something or other. Come on. Is that busy? Thanks for the, thanks for the host, man. it up kick on some RCS and see if we can't get it drop back down some Use monopropellant instead of regular fuel. I got those little puffers, but they're on the other side. <laughs> can't quite, can't quite use them without turning them on.
Yeah, I didn't really take that into a huge amount of consideration. <clears throat> Maneuverability out in space, I figured it was going to help. I had I have like six or eight reaction wheels in here. Apparently they don't care. It's so much extra weight, it barely lets me make a move without the thrusters being on. Just keep thinking, hey, as soon as I get this docked, everything will be fine. I'll have buttloads of extra fuel, hopefully, uh, to get this out in space, out around the moon, refuel <coughs> the station, and complete that objective. That'd be good. I would like that. I have another rendezvous to make with that station too. I already have the ship going in orbit. With a poor little tourist waiting patiently to uh, for me to bring him back home. Because all he wanted to do was orbit around the moon. He didn't realize he was going to orbit around it like 67 times. <laughs> okay, okay. It's not that many times, but, you know, a few. Okay, this is by super far taking way too long. Let's do something here. Beyond pitch, forget about the roll. Just on the top. See how much that helps me. barely hear it. Is it even working on the app? Should, because I'm not rolling. <clears throat> it's using some. It is good. Whoa. Damn it. Damn it, back up. No. Four twenty eight, three forty four, so 
Yeah, we did go quite a bit underneath him on that. All right, cool. Well, let's keep watching these and zoom a little bit. Twenty three forty one. Okay, well, that's dinking around and I think I would catch them and I doubt I'm passing them through here. Otherwise it would say something different. <clears throat> Stupid docking man. Sometimes it just takes a couple revolutions and then everything's fine. Yep, 229. So that's where I gained a little bit. Now I'm catching 252. Which is okay, I'm just going to leave it like that, just fast forward. Okay, actually, better yet, let's... Uh, Go fly something else while this is catching up. Oh, better yet. Even better. Even better. I don't have to do that. I think I should be able to switch right over. It's a refueler with crew, and that's my little... <clears throat> with my tourist, just hanging out. Which is basically it's the same refueler, I just uh, ended up building... Putting more fuel on it, and a little cabin with some more fuel, too. But, basically, completely and totally ran out of fuel. And I have nothing left. I have mono. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't really have mono, but I, you know, I got mono. Don't I have those? Yeah, I have those. Ones. Wow, that's... Oh, I hardly have shit for mono for propellant either. Yeah, 87 at 314 and 257. Will that be enough? So let's keep those disabled. Let's see if I can get this close to a dock or much closer to docking than I am right at this point in time. As well. by this shorter slow burn 
not using a ton and getting the job done thank goodness for those big tanks right Really well, I kind of need oh, kind of needed to slow down. <clears throat> At least I'm closer, so then I can just widen it out a little bit. Slow down and wait for him to catch me. Am I extending that out? Yes. Didn't want to extend that out too much. No, 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 not. I didn't want to up the node. I was trying to do the pancake maneuver, or the you know, move the a potnesses over <laughs> potness, <laughs> napsis, whatever. Move that little thingy over to the other thingy to make the thingies line up together and be a little happier. That's that's what I was going for. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. After that many revolutions, let's take a gander at what this is. Damn it. I just want to focus you on curb and... Still an awful lot of catching up to do with that. Come on, Moon, let me target you. Thank you. How's it going? What's up, Meister Chief? It's going all right. Um, this docking thing, I still haven't got down really well, so it takes me a little bit to mess around with it. Get it set up proper-like, and not use a shit ton of fuel doing so. 
mostly because I don't hardly have anything left. As you see, I got 180 on that. I got uh, very little monopropellant. This was my refueler with the crew guy. Um, yeah. But he was a tourist. It's a automated refueler. It's a lander. It'll land and uh, so I can land it on the moon or any place else. I've tried it on Kerbin, so that works. <clears throat> Not with all this other shit. This was supposed to be dropped off at the space station, and it's not. This was supposed to not never even been used, uh, and it had to be. <laughs> it was gone, and then I got like nothing left in here. Nothing left in these guys. I'm pretty much almost considering just breaking that out, leaving this land here. Trying to dock because I, I have some guys to pick up. And, you know, come back later and do something with this. Oh, the downside to that. I couldn't, I can't. Because my controller is right here. And he's a tourist. He can't fly it. So as soon as I detach that and let it go, he would be floating around in weightlessness. And then I'd have to make two rendezvous so yeah activate emergency resources right where is that activation of the emergency resources i have not found those where's the re reserve doesn't this it's supposed to have like a reserve tank you know well i guess that was kind of a reserve and and it, it it's been reserved out so and i got just a tiny little bit of monopropellant because I had these little boosters, I thought they were pretty cool. They would get me around, you know, for close range stuff with such a large ship, right? I figured I needed more. And then just used up that mono that I had really fast. I didn't realize how fast. It, it was incredibly fast. Uh, they do have, you know, I could have uh, toned those down on the thruster limit. I didn't. So, so much for the refueler actually making it all the way to the moon with fuel. Well, I added some parts. I I figured it could with a small amount of fuel. That would, I should complete my thing because I have to have 5,000 units of fuel on that service outpost there. But it's just, <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's not playing as fair as it would like to see it play. And so I'm doing the wait around. Waiting maneuvers to find out where I can, you know, catch how much I'm catching up this. I should be catching this guy quite a bit because, well, except for this outside. I'm, I'm starting to. Here I come. Here I come rolling in. And at the same time, while I'm doing that, I'm also catching up in the other place over on Kerbin, which it actually looks like I'm farther and farther away. I missed my rendezvous part because I was fucking around with that. So this, the next time, after I realized, okay, well, the refueler is not going to do much good if it can't take any actual fuel to the mun without using what I was trying to hold. So I took one refueler and I shot it into just the orbit. And then so the idea was grab the other refueler, shoot that up there, connect with that one, grab that extra fuel that I have there so I have double the amount of fuel that I'm taking to the MUN, fill up, drain the rest, all the rest of the fuel out of that thing as well, and shoot off here, do all my little maneuvers, dock, and be free. Um, the downside was I have one poor little dude hanging out here that can't get, can't fly a ship. And I don't believe I made him, I, I don't have a controller on that, on the top of that. I don't believe I do. Though you know I might, so here, let's, 
What's F5? Because that'll help me a whole shit ton in maneuverability. Like, major amounts if I can just release this whole monstrosity behind me. Oh, I had cross... Oh, it doesn't matter. Um... Decouple. Okay, a little RCS to push away from that. See, yep. That's. Oh, whoa. Okay, I can turn. But I have no RC. Oh, I have no mono in this thing. Oh, no. Okay, well. Yeah, that. That didn't cut it. That didn't do it. That sucked. But I did put a controller in this, so awesome. So at least I have a controller in that, but I don't have enough mono propellant to do what I need to do, and so tiny little bit of fuel, plus trying to make maneuvers with just using fuel. It's, uh, none of that other stuff, that would be super bad. I only have that, what it can carry. I can, I can switch out. Because how much mono propellant can you hold? You can hold 30. Could be enough to make it happen. Sounds confusing, right? <clears throat> I agree. All right, well, since I got that going on, I was wondering if I had put a, uh, I put a remote, you know, control thing in that and down here. Not even gonna bother with that, not even a little bit. Okay, let's try to make some maneuvers now and, and get this guy <clears throat> to grab the other two tourists that I need to bring back, or at least a tourist and a scientist or a trans an engineer, somebody, an extra J Joe. Let's catch up. need to go up or down. Up, just a tiny little bit. All right. God, look at the maneuverability I got going on now. What? It's so crazy.
All right. Cool. Two sixty-six. Getting closer. Two sixty-six and three eighty-one. It, it is what it is right now. Damn rocket fuel debris. Gosh. Makes it look like I have so much more stuff right now. <laughs> Without uh, that huge monster saying, oh, well, you could have had 5 million Delta V, but no, you used it all up. And so you think it's tiny, little tiny, itty bitty empty. So I should have, could have, would have been able to be much closer if I would have ran them there the last time. So let's back up. Damn it. I don't have enough fuel to be messing around with a whole bunch of other stuff, so. In order to try to redo it. When I was so close. What does that flow priority mean? I really don't know. Well, I was thinking how much flow it would give me. It's still just three minutes that one. That's back ass works, man. Looks like things will get better. <clears throat> Just takes time. Two fifty three, two sixty nine. I want 
I go too fast. It sucks over warping your warp thing. This could be really good here in this next one. Thirty. Twenty. Let's get the separation down a little. Oh, oh, shit. Really? Oh, man, that's beauty. Beautiful. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's speed this thing up. I'll have no problem connecting to that dude then. Uh, switch this. Crap, my node. Uh, I, that's probably, well, if it's at 1.5, I really, I can probably make it much, much closer here. Come on, turn. Got a little egg going on. Too many things going on at once. A bit more gal ball. That's what we need. A bit. Just a bit. A bit more cowbell. Uh, do I need to go up or down? Where's... There we go. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, okay. That's all I need to know. That's just target positive or negative. Let's go back to orbit real quick. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Point zero seven at seven point two. Very good. Mm, I like it. Like it a lot. <clears throat> okay. Switch that back over. Gonna play some drums back in a bit. Nice. Rock on, man. Rock on, bro. until I'm a little closer. I bet I could pretty much see it from here anyway. Pretty sure.
Hey, there you are. All right. Oh, there you're going. Uh, okay. All right, all right. No worries. No worries. I'll slow this bitch down. No. Really? Really? Fuck. I figured I had had more cowbell than that. That's so not neat. That just made life a whole lot more difficult. Damn it, Jim. I'm out of fuel. He's hanging out, doing a bunch of nothing. So, let's hold F9. It's because I saved it before we got stupid. Oh, I didn't. What? No, I didn't. Damn it, I was going to. Okay. We know this is not nearly as feasible as we were hoping for with the amount of appellant that I could hold if I do a lot of adjustments with mono, which I was doing a shit ton, thinking that, hey, I had all this left, why don't I uh, use it up? Does that make it go faster? Nope, it's not making it go any faster on the flow priority. Oh, it's just asking you what. Yeah, it doesn't really. Doesn't really do a damn much of a difference at all. It might in the long run, but it doesn't do shit for me there. Okay, let's wrap this up. Fuck, what time is it? It's probably way too late. No, oh, it's almost midnight. I did say I was probably going to quit at midnight. I told my wife that. But she's asleep. She'll never know what time I really go to bed, right? Right? Right. Okay, so... Let's keep a better track, a good eye on my fuel here. Damn it. Oh my god. So maneuverable. Whoa, 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 what? It's that's back ass words. I don't need to use extra fuel, dang nabbit. Urge. Let's get this thing jacked up like a G. This I'll use RCS for. I could kick the thrusters down on that RCS, you know? Wait for it. Wait for it to come back at me.
Did I not give it an extra loop? <clears throat> I went too early. I guess I think I went too early. I think I might have went too early. Come on, don't freeze and stick on me. Legorific. I want one loop to loop too early. That puts my separation at ten. It's good enough. That's like perfect. <clears throat> That's, yeah, I'll dig it, I dig it. I, I don't want to add maneuver there, I want to warp to the next maneuver. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, I was looking at the other going, something, something's awry here. Something's really messed up. But not. See a blip anywhere? I don't see it yet. I'm a little off. Wait for it, wait for it. Should be perfect. <clears throat> That's anti. Where are you? You're right up yonder. There it is.
Oh, slow down, 50. 50 kind of scares me. Hit the brakes, man. Hit the brakes. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna be docking. <clears throat> Do I have a big one or a little one? Big one. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. It's like a drumming. Now, hey, you know, just practice, man. Practice makes perfect. Okay, I'm there. Set as target. Got a lot of mono this time because I wasn't eating it all up <clears throat> like I had before. be the setting the bar a bit too high for your skill level at the moment hard to find songs that i like that aren't too complicated that yes is a such a true statement it is hard to you know yep because i play a little bit of drums myself i i like banging on them also um but yeah when you're like, yeah, that sounds like a great beat. Yeah, try to keep up with that. Shall you? Oh, wow, I'm so close. Magnets should start to take hold. Oh, already. G to the G, man. Come on. Port dock me. Dock and docked. Docked and docked. All right. <clears throat> now, now, give me some fuel. Uh, how about that? Uh, no, no fuel there. None. Some. Okay, I got fuel in there. Oh, I got lots of fuel in that. That should be more than plenty to get me back home. Because, again, I'm trying to give fuel to this thing, not take it away. But I have some people, like this tourist right here. Like, where in the hell are you, though? <laughs> <clears throat> Needs to hop in that lander ship. Mavi. Mavi's a tourist. She just got her stuff done, right? Just before I transfer her out, I want to make sure that 
She's got everything that she needs to do. She just needs to come back, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Plays a certain way is, yeah, that you can easily mimic makes me also able to play more difficult stuff, right? What am I doing, Robinson Cayman? I'm docking uh, to some little green Kerbal guys. These little homeboys down on the bottom here. I'm trying to get them back home. I was trying to bring a bunch of fuel up here, but ended up using fuel instead of bringing it up. So, you know, stuff happens. Picking up a tourist that already did their land on the moon. Uh, he landed on the moon. He did, got to do that for free. Um, <clears throat> I, draw, I brought another tourist over here. I have to have a bunch of pilots in here, like seven of them. Carl doesn't even have a, isn't even upgraded yet. All right. Dottie's with me. Is there a storyline or is this game sandbox mode with objectives? Um, there is a sandbox mode that you can open that up. This kind of has objectives where you uh, go and sign, con get contracts down at your uh, space station. You, you have that research place. Um, yeah, you get contracts and, and build it up. Uh, why am I doing it? It's because it's fun. I, I, enjoy, I actually enjoy it. I know it sounds crazy, but I really do. Bob's just one scientist. How, oh, uh, this is my processing center that I brought with me. My research center. Do I have, I only have Bob in there. My other scientist is hanging around doing a bunch of nothing. What? Carl, what am I supposed to do? Um, build stuff. You get to build, uh, these, uh, these aren't like pre-made. You, I guess you can get them pre-made. You can get mods and stuff and get pre-made stuff. Um, but yeah, you, you build rockets and send them up into space. You have to test them out. Uh, all that other good stuff. So Carl, Carl needs to go cruising over there. Didn't wasn't Carl hanging out here? Yes. Damn it, Carl. And then like this is a mobile processing lab. <clears throat> you get two. Bob needs to come. He's gonna end up going to Minmus. So we'll transfer Bob Meister over in here. That way, the research is still researching. Let's see. Can we get anything? Transmit science? Oh, we're getting some science. All right, cool. But yeah, you earn science that will unlock you more parts, better parts, stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a space exploration game. So it's rocket science. So... It's a bit of a learning curve to get it down, um, and then it's it's pretty rough to uh, it, it's pretty hard to play. Um, anyway, so I'm good to go. I got my scientist, my nope in here. I got uh, both. Both my tourists, and I'm bringing Bob back. Bob needs to go level up someplace else because he can't get any higher level here. So these are good. I'm full. Uh, how about the mono propellant? How's, how's the mono propellant on that? I don't think I filled that yet. 
No, it's down to it's twenty. That should be more than plenty. Should be fine. Should be good. It's always good to have more when you don't know, though. Fuck it. <clears throat> Let's undock. Fly these little homies back home and land them safely. Try to anyway. Uh, wrong. Dock those little bastards. <clears throat> oh, keep dokey. Prepare to jet back off to Never Never Land, or Kerbin, as they call it. Twelve. Oh shit. I didn't. That didn't work for me. Eleven or twelve is about as good as I'm getting there, huh? That, that'll be more than sufficient. Warp, and then fire. Robinson, you're right. It is, it is confusing, especially at first, you know, because... Uh, Really, what helped me is was watching streamers, you know, and, and asking them questions and what, and figuring out how to do stuff while I was playing. I'd watch them, so I'm kind of in lurk mode and whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting how... Like... How much you start picking up and then all of a sudden you're able to build rockets and and you're hauling ass around the place everything's cool and you're docking docking is hard docking is one of the hardest fucking things ever crashing is not hard you get to watch your kerbals blow up and stuff like that. <laughs> they turn to dust sometimes. It happens. It happens. You know, what do you do? That's why you hit F5 a lot, which I probably should be a hit in F5. Which would be the same thing. Why am I not... Warping. And I, you know, you get missions, and then you're like, okay, well, then you, I, you start building space stations, and then you start building space stations like on the, the moon, and I, like I have one orbiting. That's what I was just docked at, and I also have one on the moon, which, oh, cool, um. <clears throat> Whoa, shit. Whoa! Stop, pause. No, 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 no. That's not neat. No, I didn't want to warp there. F and A. Shit, I warped there. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, well, that that wasn't cool. I did I. I did F five, 
right while well, I was saving. Please say I have five. I fucking didn't. Okay, this is. I'm getting over it. I thought I had five just before I pulled that maneuver thing, and uh, apparently when I was warping, F5 doesn't work. Damn it. So I gotta dock that little dirty bastard again and all that crap. That's just a pain in the ass. Well, I'm close to docking it anyway. So. F5 for safety is a real thing. Damn it, Jim. Fuck, I, I could have swore I, if I, no, I thought about it, but then I didn't. I'm going to leave him here, and we're going to call it a night. Yeah, that's, God, can't believe I didn't F5 earlier. Balls. Yeah, so here's your space station. You gotta upgrade all this, and then you go over to the mission control. Gives you it has available things. I have many of them active, so that's why I don't have very many available. It happens. Um, but. So I have other missions going on. You got research development. You got all these little nodes to unlock that gives you a cool shit, but you have to buy them. Like these are 160 research. I have 449 available right now. Um, could be upgrading my your your track. What to do? Get you bigger, better, better stuff. Nuclear powered shit. Super heavy equipment, machinery, stuff like that. Um. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty cool game as long as you remember to F5 a lot. God damn it. When you don't, then everything that you just got done doing gets... Uh, because you fucked up somewhere and you were like, oh, I could fix that. Instead, no. Instead, I effed it up even more and went back. And you could buy... You could build planes and space planes. I haven't gotten that far yet. In Sandbox, I was messing with a plane and I got... I couldn't get it into orbit, though. That's what I was, of course, you're, what you're doing with a space plane. You're trying to get the damn thing out in orbit. Just couldn't make it in orbit. We'll come back to that later. So that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. It's late. I need to go to bed. And... That kind of frustrated me with not hitting that five a little bit. That's kind of sucked. Super sucked. So we'll call that good, guys. It's been fantastic. Thanks for hanging out with me. I do totally appreciate it. The follows, the freaking donations tonight. I did it absolutely amazing. I can't beat you. Can't beat it. I can. I could buy that uh, aluminum flywheel, that eight pounder. That'll make that thing rev up and down so fast. The car will be so much more responsive without having a whole bunch of weight slowing the engine down. All right, so. Take her easy, guys. Stay beardy. Don't have too much fun. I'm off.